f x equals to phi x1 plus phi x2 constraints are constraint r x1 plus x2 less than equals to 2 phi x1 plus x2 less than 12 phi x1 plus phi x2 less than equals to 10. all constraints are less than so we'll convert this into by introducing the slack variable so we have x1 plus x2 plus slack variable s1 is equals to 2 we have thrice x1 plus 8x2 plus another slack variable s2 equal to 12 5x1 plus twice x2 plus another slack variable s3 the contribution of the slack variable in the profit is 0 so we have a objective function z max equals to 5x1 plus thrice x2 plus 0 s1 plus 0 s2 plus 0 s3 so in this one we have x1 x1 x2 s1 s2 s3 right hand side coefficient of x1 in objective function is 5 x2 coefficient is 3 s1 coefficient is 0 s2 coefficient is 0 s3 coefficient is also 0 the additional variables are basic variables s1 s2 s3 initial value is 0 0 0 first of all s1 s2 s3 this must be equals to what s1 s1 is 1 s2 s2 is 1 s3 s3 is 1 and the rest are 0 so check your first equation it is a x1 x1 equals to 1 x2 equals to 1 s1 is 1 and s2 and s3 for this row is 0 and the right hand side is 2 for second constraint we have thrice x1 then 8x2 we have 0 s1 1 s2 0 s3 right hand side is 12 next one we have 5 x1 then we have 2 x2 0 s1 0 s2 1 s3 and right hand side is 10 that is a entry to this one so first of all we will find out cj minus zj as you know yesterday cj minus zj when we have 0 0 0 is the same row so this one is 5 this one is 3 this one is 0 and in this case since the problem of maximization you have to select the key column so key column is maximum positive value and once we select this key column we have to find out theta minimum so we will try to find out theta value for this one you have to find out RHS divided by corresponding key column 2 divided by 1 is 2 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 10 divided by 5 is 2 so there is a tie here so you have to break the tie arbitrarily so let break the tie arbitrarily because of this one is this one is our key element the step 2 which one is entering variable x1 which one is leaving variable s1 so you have to cancel this and you have to make entry for x1 variable and what is the coefficient of x1 is 5 now you have to first enter the identity matrix x1 x1 is 1 s2 s2 is 1 s3 s3 is 1 and rest element are 0 this one is 0 this one is 0 this one is 0 and this one is 0 is this 5 so level as r1 r2 r3 r1 dash r2 dash r3 dash in the previous row of r1 we have number one here at the same position we have number one so we don't have to do any modification in that row so one divided by one is one one divided by one is one this one will be appear as it is no changes in zero zero divided by one is zero zero divided by zero is zero two divided by two is 
you have to modify the new row R2 on the basis of previous row R2 and the new row of R1 dash. Now what is the number right now here in the new row is 0. At the same place in the previous R2 row this number is 3 and my R1 dash right now is 1. So what should I do so that I will get 0. So shall I multi minus and multiply it by 3. So my equation is minus 3 into R1 dash. Now we will go for 8. This number is 8. Minus 3 times. The corresponding number is 1. So is it 5? So this number is 5. In the previous one this number is 0. Minus 3. Now the number is 1. So this answer is minus 3. You don't have to verify for this. Previous this number is 0. Minus 3. Right now the number is 0. So the number is still equals to 0. Previously this number is 12. Minus 3. Right now the number is 2. So this one is 6. Now what we want is R3 dash. We want R3 dash from original R3 and with the help of new row of R1 dash. So what should I do here? First of all let me check this number. This number is what? 0. What was the previous number here? 5. Right now what is R1 dash corresponding number is 1. So shall I multiply by 5 and subtract from this one. So my equation is R3 minus 5 times R value. This 5 minus ZJ for column 1. This number is 5 minus this number is 5 into 1. This one is 0. This one is 0. So plus 0 and plus 0. So 5 minus 5 is 0. Then this number is 3 minus 5 into 1 is 5 this number is 0 this number is 0 so is this number is minus 2 correct children next this one this number is 0 this number is 5 into 1 is 5 this number is 0 this number is 0 so is it minus 5 ok this one this one is 0 this one is minus of 5 into 0, 0 into 1, 0 into 0, is this number is 0, correct, ok, this one, this one is 0, this number is 0, so this number is 0 minus 5 into 0, 0 into 0, 0 into 1, that is equals to 0, so is the optimal solution has been reached, because all the numbers here in CJ minus ZJ are either 0 or either negative. So that is your optimal solution. So your X1 will be equals to 2. And is there any X2 term is present here? No. It means that your X1 is equals to 2 and X2 equals to 0 is the optimal solution. And now you can put this value back or you can even calculate also 5 into 2 is this number is 10. So your maximum property is 10.